reporters, this is T.A. Barnhart with another TAB report. House Bill 2301 is a bad bill and it was badly done. Governor Kitzhaber needs to veto this bill and legislative Democrats need to offer this alternative. An online education bill in the February 2012 session that will address the needs of all Oregon students and families that will cost a reasonable amount and that is done with full public hearings. And a bill that does not send millions of our tax dollars to an out-of-state corporation. Online education is a vital component of public education and it will grow increasingly more so. The educational possibilities for our children via online resources are pretty amazing, so it's critical we incorporate online education in a responsible way. House Bill 2301 is the irresponsible way. It was passed in a big rush. It will benefit a single corporation, one that graduated only 30% of its class of 2010, and one that does not serve Oregon's most disadvantaged communities. And it was passed without a single public hearing. Let me repeat that. House Bill 2301 was passed without a single public hearing. A backroom deal, or as House Education Committee co-chair Sarah Gelser put it, a profoundly perverted process. For that reason alone, 2301 should be vetoed. The governor cannot condone these kinds of undemocratic shenanigans. He should also veto it because online education is costing too much and producing unacceptably bad results. $6,000 per student with a 30% graduation rate? How in the world can that be tolerated? But under House Bill 2301, Oregon could be paying up to $96 million per year for these abysmal results. $96 million to not deliver world-class education. We need a restart for online education, and we can do that by starting in the most obvious place, vetoing House Bill 2301. Let's do online education right. Here's what we need to do. Provide online resources to all students. Restructure how it's paid for. The costs of online are nowhere near what it costs to educate a kid in a brick and mortar facility. Let's pay an appropriate cost. Develop Oregon resources to provide these services. Perhaps some seed money to start up a few nonprofits based here in Oregon. Let's stop shipping general fund dollars to a for-profit company in freaking Maryland. And last but not least, hold some damn public hearings. Governor Kitzhaber, let's do online education right. House Bill 2301 is the wrong way. Veto it and instruct the legislature to send you a proper bill in February, one that costs less, one that succeeds more, and one that is born from Oregon's democratic traditions, not from backroom deals. For the Action Tab, this is T.A. Barnhart. Goodbye.